following discussions that involve Greg, his representatives, the NFL, the NFLPA, and obviously the Panthers, Greg's decided to take a voluntary leave with pay until his legal proceedings are resolved. We understand Greg's decisions, and given the circumstances, it's very important that he concentrate on his legal issues. We believe this is the right course of action at this time for both Greg and the Carolina Panthers. We are in the midst of a very trying and difficult situation. We have constantly evaluated as this has been an ongoing process. We have attempted to be very thoughtful and intentional about this. There's no rule book for this, guys. Our overriding goal has always been to do the right thing. Obviously, the reaction being is you'd like to have him. You'd like to have him be part of the football team. And unfortunately, because of the circumstance and situation we're in, we don't have him. Uh, I am disappointed in that, uh, but I also understand, uh, you know, that this is a very serious situation, and and we have had to do some things that that we feel are are, are prudent. You know, these are things that need to be done. What did you tell the team, and when did you discuss it? With the team? I told the team uh, this afternoon after practice. I brought them back in at a 3:30 team meeting, and I explained um, what Greg decided to do, and I explained to them the reasons why he decided to do it. Uh, and the biggest thing was, you know, Greg wanted to try and take away the, um, the distraction. Uh, he also wanted to be able to focus in on, on making sure that, you know, that, that he takes care of his business, the business needs to be taken care of. And, um, and he was, you know, I mean, I spent a lot of time with Greg today, uh, and, and he was disappointed, obviously, that, you know, that it got into this and he was in this situation set of circumstances. But I talked to the players about it, let them know that this was, this, this was the situation and, uh, you know, that we have to go forward. Greg's hurt. I mean, he really is, and, and it's a tough situation. He knows he put himself in it. He was apologetic uh, with me. We had a great conversation, and um, you know, it's unfortunate that it was under these circumstances. Um, but he, um, you know, he, he's 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 resolute in, in, in how he feels about uh, his situation, circumstances, and he does expect to be back in November. Is your expectation that he'll be around, Ron, or do you think he'll? Stay away. I think Greg's going to take a moment to take a breath. Uh, I'm going to reach out to him in a couple of days and, and visit with him. Um, I would hope that he would, you know, feel welcomed back. You know, I know a lot of his teammates asked about him immediately after I, you know, made the announcement. And uh, you know, Greg is part of this football team. You know, we, we've done nothing other than grant him the leave of absence. Uh, he's still being paid. Uh, he's still part of this football team. And at due time, he will be back here. Um, and and we can get this. You know, hopefully this this thing will be resolved. It's been handled uh, as, as well as we could. I mean, it's been a very difficult set of circumstances. Uh, the climate is changing constantly. The attitudes are changing tremendously quick. Um, you know, there's been a lot of things that have been written, a lot of things that have been said, right, wrong, or indifferent. Um, there was a lot of pressure put on a lot of people. I mean, it, it, to me, it's in, in some, some respects, it, it's, it's disappointing um, that it changes and, and people get so emotional about it because uh, it's unfair. You know, there, 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 there are a lot of circumstances that we don't know. There are a lot of situations we don't understand. And it, 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 it's, it's hard because you don't know how. You really don't. This is, this is not a normal set of circumstance or situation. And when you get into these types of situations, you try to handle them the best you can. As I said on Sunday after the game, the biggest thing we all get, and we all have to understand, is we've got to get this right. We really do. I mean, we're, we're worried about, you know, in all honesty, we're worried about the wrong types of things. We're trying to figure out who we need to blame. And we don't need to blame people. We need to find answers and corrections to make things right for people. And that's what this really should be about. I made a decision that I felt was best for everybody. You know, there's a lot of distractions out there, and there's a lot of people getting blamed for a lot of things they have nothing to do. You know, I'm, I'm all right, Charlie. Just give me a second on this. You know, there's two secretaries or, 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 or two ladies that work in this building, and they answer the phone. And people call and they, they, they get after them about decisions that I make, okay? They don't deserve to have that. You know, they're people, they're, 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 they're women, they're mothers, they're sisters, they're grandmothers, and people call and want to complain on decisions I make. So I struggle with it. That makes it very hard on me. So when I have to make decisions, I make decisions I believe that are in the best interest of this organization. And don't ever forget that, okay? Thank you. Thank you.